is the distance formula. So the distance formula is given here. It's d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So let's just look at a quick example. Let me draw the points 1 comma 2. So that's 1 comma 2. I'm going to call that A. If I can write that, let's see. There we go. And 4 comma 6, let's call this B. So this is B and that's 4 comma 6. Um, okay, so now, there we go. So now if I wanted to find the distance between these two points, what would I do? So my x2 and x1, these subscripts here are just there because otherwise I have two points with an x value, right? My x value of a is one, my x value of b is two. So I have to be able to distinguish between those, right? Otherwise I would get confused. If I just told you x, it would just be ambiguous, right? So what that really means is it's the difference in my x values. So let's just call b my second point. So I'm gonna let that be x2. So my distance would equal the square root of 4, which is my x2, minus 1, which is my x1, plus my y2, which again is going to be from my b coordinate, so 6, minus 2, right here, squared. And then I'm just going to simplify from there. So 4 minus 1 is 3, 6 minus 2 is 4. I'm gonna use my order of operations. So I'm gonna square that next, or each of them next. So then I'm gonna get nine plus 16, which is 25. And the square root of 25 is five. So this distance here is five. Now let's talk about a quick little shortcut and something that I like to use um, to solve the distance without using this formula. I just feel like this formula is a little long and complicated. If you're not interested in it, go ahead and you can stop watching now. Um, however, let's talk about how the distance formula relates to the Pythagorean theorem. So really, if I were to take this and just kind of draw a right triangle here like that, there we go. And if I were to just count over, again, knowing that this point is one comma two and this point is four comma six, in my x direction, I'm going from 1 to 4, which is 3 units. Clearly, I did not draw this triangle to scale, but I hopefully you'll still get the point. Um, now, in the y direction, I was at a y value of 2, and I'm going up to 6, which is 4, right? So now you can see why I'm saying I did not draw this to scale. But now, look what I did. I created this right triangle, right? And what's cool about this is that now I actually have a Pythagorean triple. So this is a three, four, five triangle. So without, if I didn't have this five here, obviously I've already found it, but if I only had the three and the four, I would immediately know that this side is five because I have my Pythagorean triples memorized, or I could just directly do the Pythagorean theorem here. So I could just do three squared plus four squared equals C squared and then solve it and I would get that five.